Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today in this video, we are going to do an interesting project on Pythagoras theorem. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have made many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find all of them on our channel as well as on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil and a pair of scissors. Aim of this art integrated project is to Prove the Pythagoras theorem with the help of an interesting activity. And the Pythagoras theorem is In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Students, let's consider a triangle ABC right angled at B. So, in a right angled triangle, side opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse. So, here side opposite to angle B is AC. Therefore, AC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. Now, according to Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, C square equals to A square plus B square, where C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the other two sides of this triangle. We also have an interesting video to prove total surface area of cube and cuboid with the help of an interesting project. The link to this project is here on the top and below in the description box. Now let's prove the Pythagoras theorem with the help of an activity. In the first step, Take a red sheet of paper and draw a right angle triangle on it as shown here. Students, you can take A equals to 6 cm, B equals to 8 cm and C equals to 10 cm. Then cut this triangle with the help of pair of scissors. Now students, we need to cut out three more triangles of same dimensions. So in total, we need four such triangles. Now in the next step, we will take a green colored sheet and draw four right angled triangles of same dimensions. Then we will cut out these four triangles. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now let's take one orange colored sheet and we will draw two squares on it of side a plus B, that is 6 plus 8 equals to 14 centimeter side. And then we will cut out both these squares. Students, we have videos to verify all the algebraic identities with the help of interesting and colorful activities. So I would suggest you to watch these videos. You will find the links to these videos below in the description box.
So now we have got two squares of side A plus B, four red right angle triangles with sides A, B, and C, and four green right angle triangles again with sides A, B, and C. Now, students, arrange four red triangles in one of the squares as shown here. Now, can you tell me what is the measurement of this side of the triangle? Yes, it is C. Similarly, length of this side of a triangle is also C. And what is the length of this side of triangle? Again C. And same applies for the last triangle as well. This one is also C. Now, just look at this remaining orange figure. This figure. It has all the four sides as C. So, this means this orange figure is a square. So, part of orange square which is left uncovered is the square of side C. Therefore, its area will be side into side that is C into C which is equals to C square. Now take the second square and arrange the green triangles on it as shown here. This time also students, let's find the area of uncovered orange parts, these two, so we have to find their areas. We know each side of this orange square is A plus B. Now students, take a look at this green triangle. Measure of this side of the triangle is B. Therefore, Length of the remaining part of orange square must be A. Now, look at the other side of this same triangle. This side. Its length is A. So, length of the remaining part of the square would be B. Similarly, students, now take a look at other two triangles. Length of this side of the triangle is B. So, length of the remaining part of the square would be A. Now, take a look at the adjacent triangle. This side is A. So, length of the remaining part of the square must be B. Now, students, if you see carefully, we have two squares. One is of side A and second square is of side B. So, part of orange square which is left uncovered equals to square of side A plus square of side B. And area of square of side A is A square and area of square of side B is B square. Therefore, area of uncovered part equals to a square plus B square. Now let's put both these arrangements side by side. 
here we can say that the area of uncovered part in first arrangement must be equal to area of uncovered part in second arrangement why because everything in both these arrangements is same that is dimensions of squares and triangles are same except their arrangement in first arrangement students we found that area of uncovered part is c square and in second arrangement we found area of uncovered part is a square plus b square so we can say c square equals to a square plus b square which is the pythagoras theorem hence we have proved the pythagoras theorem with the help of this interesting activity so if you are a teacher this activity will help you to teach students the pythagoras theorem in a fun way and if you are a student this activity is very useful for you to make maths art integrated project thanks for watching do share my videos and my channel with your friends and family bye bye see you in the next video